good morning and thank you for joining me this morning we are uh, off to uh, coming to the towards the middle of the week already it's the second day of the week uh, well third um, very cold outside uh, but hopefully warming up a little bit today and uh, hopefully no rain today uh, it would be very nice if I could get my backyard to dry up a little bit but uh, I hope you are doing well today it is um, it's Tuesday March 2nd and uh, on Tuesdays I pray for our church family and um, so I will be doing that this morning I want to take a little bit of time first to get allow people to um, to be able to log on and and uh, hopefully get the the notification that I am on so that they can join and um, I'm looking at at my tablet right now and it's not showing that I am on so um, I hope someone is on and or I hope I'm I'm actually uh, going live right now and it looks like I am okay so I am I am up and um, just gonna give it a little bit of time to allow some people to get logged in um, I hope your week is going well for you so far um, we have we have a, an awesome church we have a, a wonderful church family uh, we have uh, a lot of people that uh, do a lot uh, for the church for the community and um, they're just some wonderful people that we have uh, good morning miss Carly good to see you I hope you're feeling better this morning um, miss Carly was feeling a little under the weather yesterday uh, so we have a, a lot of people that, that do a lot of work that that most people just don't even uh, realize is going on um, but there are still a lot of ways that we could be reaching out into our community and um, touching lives and um, doing things that uh, that God has called us to do um, helping the widows um, helping the orphans the poor and um, we have a great opportunity here um, in our community to to do a lot of good work and um, but we need people to be willing to do that we need people to uh, step in and and say hey there is a need that I am aware of and and uh, I would like to meet that need how can I do it and just come to to the pastor come to one of your deacons and um, we uh, good I'm glad you're feeling better miss Carly um, and we would uh, love to have um, someone help you lead up this ministry whatever ministry it is that that reaches into our community that's what we're here for we are we are here to reach the lives of others and uh, so we um, we really need uh, to know you know if if you are aware of a need and would like to help our church as a church family to um, reach out into the community and and um, and adjust or address those needs um, please talk to someone here at the church um, the pastor or one of the deacons and we will be definitely uh, do what we can to get involved good morning miss Christie good to see you um, and to get you involved in in that ministry and in addressing those those needs so um, if you are uh, if if you are willing to to do something we need you we need workers we need more workers in the church um, there is so much that can be done and right now we have a lot of really good workers going on uh, servants of the church and um, but they are we have the same people pretty much doing a lot of different things in the church and and uh, so we need more people God has not called us to to warm up the pew of a church 
building. He is, that's not what he's called us to do. He has called us to, to reach out to the poor, reach out to the orphans and the widows, and, and, uh, and to demonstrate the love of Christ to, um, to our community. And so that's what we need to do. That's what we need to be doing. And uh, so if, if you are interested in getting involved and doing something, please let us know. Uh, we would be very happy to get you plugged in somewhere in some ministry and, and get you involved in the church. Um, we have a lot of people to pray for this morning. Um, I'm going to be going through the, good morning, Miss Jan and uh, Christy. Good morning. Good to see you. Um, um, Philip, <laughs> we have uh, missed little Philip precious little boy I'm, I'm sure he is running around and doing all kinds of things now um, he's getting pretty close to a year old I think if I'm not if I'm not mistaken um, or maybe he's over a year old but um, God bless you all thank you for joining me and uh, let's go ahead and we're going to get started in our in praying for our church family and as normal uh, when I'm praying for a church family we have a lot of people to pray for <clears throat> excuse me so we will uh, just go down the list as quickly as we can um, but if the if somebody if I mention a name that 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 uh, just touches your heart you need uh, you feel the need to pray for them please just take the time and pray for that that person or, or that family um, and while I move on to the next family and and just uh, um, we need to be lifting up and encouraging and <clears throat> and blessing our church family um, every day every day this we should be doing this so, good morning Terry good to see you <clears throat> So let's start out, <coughs> excuse me, with a word of prayer, and then I'll start going through our, through our church family. Our Father, we thank you and praise you, God, for this morning. Thank you, Lord, for giving us the gift of life this morning as we uh, begin a new day and, and uh, start doing the things that, that we need to uh, do today, the things that we need to take care of today. Lord, help us to learn to depend on you and everything that we do, even if it's something we've done a thousand times before, God, that we would seek your guidance and your direction, your wisdom, your strength in whatever it is that we need to do. Lord, as we go through our church family this morning, we, uh, we pray that you would uh, reach and touch each family, each family member for your glory. Um, God, that um, as we go through these names lord we don't know everything that's going on with them but you do and so as we lift them up to you father we pray that you would touch each individual need um, lord that you would um, pour out your blessings on them um, that you would be an encouragement and a strength to them lord that that they would know and realize that um, that you are their strength that you are um, all that they need in everything that they're going through in their life. And so as we lift these names up to you, Father, we just thank you for the opportunity that you have given us to be able to come to you and to spend time um, talking, conversing with the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the God of all creation. God, thank you, Lord. We are so blessed. We praise you and we give you the glory in the name of Jesus. Good morning, uh, Miss Jacqueline. Um, yes, Jacqueline, uh, we have added. I'm added you to the prayer list. Uh, we are praying for you. Um, and Miss Helen, good morning. Good to see you. And as always, uh, we have our our normal prayer list. Um, as I will also be mentioning uh, most of these today, but um, Jeremy is. Uh, is still uh, dealing with his cancer. If you would please remember him and uh, Catherine and Braden as they uh, support him and and help him through this time. Uh, Ted uh, had a procedure done yesterday. I'm not sure how it turned out, uh, but please uh, continue to pray for Ted 
and Miss Jean as she takes care of him. Uh, for our friend Clayton, uh, who's dealing with prostate cancer, uh, please pray for him. Uh, Patty uh, was not doing well uh, last week. I'm not sure how she's doing uh, this week, but uh, please pray for Patty. Um, Cindy fell. I'm not sure if anything was broken, and I'm not sure how she's doing, so please pray for her. Uh, for Wilma, who was recovering from a pacemaker surgery, and for, um, for Jacqueline, who has been asking for prayers, um, an unspoken request. So we will uh, continue to lift them up in prayer. And uh, so now we're going to go through our church names. Um, please remember Tiny. She has been uh, dealing with some health issues lately. Um, for um, Rich and Stephanie, uh, I hope and pray that they're doing well. Lift them up to the Lord in prayer. Um, let's uh well let me let me backtrack and we're gonna we're gonna do this i'm gonna pray for them as we go father i pray for tiny i pray that you would bless her that you would cover her with your with your grace and your mercy father as she's dealing with these health issues that she's been dealing with lord we lift up our rich and stephanie to you i pray your blessings on them help them father to uh, continue to honor you in their lives and in their marriage we pray your blessings on their marriage and their home lord for isidro and Amanda, we pray your blessings on them. Um, we pray that you would uh, continue to draw them to you and help them to grow in, in the knowledge and understanding of your word. And uh, Father, we have we have missed uh, Rich and Stephanie, Andy, Cedro, and Amanda. We pray, God, that you would uh, uh, make it uh, possible for them to be able to come and spend time with uh, the church family again. Lord, we pray for Cliff and Heather as they're traveling. We pray your mercies on them, that you would bring them back home uh, safely. And Lord, we lift up Emma to you. We pray your blessings on her. We pray, God, that you would uh, pour out your mercy on her and uh, guide her and direct her in whatever she's dealing with right now. Lord, we pray for Brooke. We pray your blessings on her job, on the work that she's doing with uh, with the young people. Father, we pray that you would use her and speak through her and help her to be the, the light of Christ uh, to her um, classroom. Lord, we pray for Larry. Um, he has uh, been struggling this last month, Father, as he has uh, been missing the the his best friend and his love. Uh, God, we pray that you uh, would pour out your mercy on him and encourage him and help us to be an encouragement to him as he's going through this difficult time lord for jeremy and Catherine, and lord we lift them up to you father we pray your blessings on them that you would um, help them in this time that they're going through with uh, with uh, jeremy's uh, cancer and, and lord that you would bring healing to his body lord we pray for robert and cheryl lord i um i have heard that um, I believe it was Cheryl was not doing well. I pray your blessings on her, that you would bring healing to her body, Father, that that you would uh, bless their home and bless their family, Father. Lord, we lift up uh, Brandon and Ashley to you, God. Uh, thank you for them, for the blessing that they've been to our church in so many ways. Uh, we pray that you would continue to, to bless them, and uh, Lord, that you would uh, show them where it is that they, that you want them to be serving uh, your church family, Father. Lord, I lift up uh, John and Brenda to you. Thank you for them, for the work that they do, um, that they're always doing for the church family. Lord, we pray that you would bless their um, home and their family. Father, we lift up Linda to you. We pray your blessings on her. Uh, thank you for all the work that she does with with our children, Lord. Uh, thank you for the love that she has to um uh, to serve you and to honor you in that capacity. We pray that you would continue to use her. Lord, we pray for Bruce and Katie. Uh, we pray your blessings on them. Thank you for them, for all the work that they're doing for the church. <clears throat> we pray your uh, traveling mercies for Katie that, um, I don't know if she's home yet, but uh, if she's still traveling, Lord, that you would bring her home safely and uh, that we would be able to see them both again soon. Lord, we pray for Ted and Jean as they have been going through the health issues with Ted recently, Lord, we pray for healing for his body and for Jane for strength and encouragement as she's helping Ted going through this time uh, in his life right now. Lord, I thank you for 
for Terry and Joyce and for the blessing that they have been to our church family, Lord, for all, all of the things that they do um, all the time, not only for our church family, but for our community. Uh, thank you for them, Lord. We pray your blessings on their home, on their marriage, and on their children, Lord. Father, we lift up uh, Tyler and Kelly to you. Thank you for them, for their desire to serve you, for their desire to work with the youth. Uh, we pray, God, that you would continue to to uh, bless them, to bless their home, that you would uh, um, help them, Lord, to uh, draw closer to you each day and to uh, be able to continue to share uh, what you're doing in their lives uh, with the, the young people of our church, God. And we thank you for Stephen and Karen, for their desire to serve you, for their desire to uh, honor you in their lives. Lord, we pray your blessings on their home. Uh, Father, we pray your blessings on Deborah and uh, on Magnolia and Adeline. Lord, we thank you for them. We thank you for bringing them into our church family. And we pray, God, that you would uh, just continue to um, grow them into a deeper and stronger walk with you, Lord, as they learn to love, uh, love you and love your word. Father, we lift up Miss Carolyn to you. Um, she's had a, a difficult year as well. Lord, we pray your blessings on her. Uh, we thank you uh, for bringing her through the the uh, illnesses that she's been dealing with this past year for the, the loss of her husband, God. And um, Lord, we, um, we lift up um, Carolyn to you. We thank you for her, for the blessing that she has been uh, to our church family. Lord, we thank you for her. Uh, Lord, we lift up Andrea to you. We pray your blessings on her, God, that you would... Uh, continue to uh, work in her, in her life and and draw her to you, Father. Give her the desire to to grow in you each day and to um, uh, walk in the path that you've chosen for her. Lord, we pray for for Lisa, uh, for um, her husband Ronald, who's been dealing with uh, health issues for several years now. Lord, we uh, we pray for their uh, for their home, for their family. Lord, we pray your blessings on them. We pray that you would. Uh, um, continue to work in their lives to draw them closer to you, Father. Lord, we thank you for Miss Marie, uh, for the blessing that she is every time we get to see her. And um, we have missed her this past year. Um, she has had some health issues, and we just pray that if there's anything that she's dealing with right now, Lord, that you would touch her body, that you would bring healing to her body, continue to use her and, and grow her in, in a stronger, deeper walk with you, Lord. Father, we pray for Wes and Patty. We thank you for them. Thank you, God, for the blessing that they are to our church family. Uh, Lord, we have missed Patty, but as she is uh, serving you uh, where you have placed her now, we pray your blessings on her in that ministry. And we lift up uh, <clears throat> Dr. Wes to you, Lord. Thank you for all the work that he does in our community and, and with our young people and and uh, with the Adult Sunday School. Lord, uh, thank you for the love that he has for you and the love that he has to share your word with your church family. We pray your blessings on them, Father, and on their daughter who has uh, been dealing with uh, with the health issues for many years. Lord, we pray your blessings on her. Lord, we lift up uh, Arlen and Kathy to you. We pray your blessings on them and on their uh, marriage on their family. We thank you for all the work that Kathy has done over the years, Lord, for um, all the work that she does in making our uh, the sanctuary uh, beautiful. Uh, we thank you for her, Lord. We pray that you would continue to work in their lives to draw them closer to you, Father. Lord, we pray for Teresa and David. Um, we have uh, missed them, Father. We pray your blessings on them. Thank you, Lord, for the uh, work that Teresa has done over these past years, and we pray that you would continue to use her and draw this, them uh, closer to you. And we pray for their children and grandchildren. Um, thank you, Lord, for the opportunity that you have given us to uh, be a part of their family. Lord, we pray for Miss Effie. Um, we have missed her um, this past year. Lord, we pray that you would um, pour out your blessings on her, anything that she is uh, going through right now, Lord, uh, with um, in regards to her health. We, we pray for those now. We pray for your healing on anything that she's dealing with. And Lord, we pray that you would uh, uh, work in her life to allow her to be able to come and fellowship with us once again, Father. Um, we have um, missed the joy that she brings uh, when we see her on uh, 
on Sunday mornings. Lord, we uh, lift up uh, Loman and Brenda to you, Father. Um, we pray for Loman as he has been uh, going through serious health issues of the past year, um, a year and a half, and and has um, dealt with uh, many different things. And and the worst of all is that uh, that Brenda is not able to go and see him. Father, I pray for your your peace and your mercy on both of them as they are dealing with this time of separation and and God that you would uh, uh, open up the opportunity for them to be able to see each other once again and spend time together once again. Lord we uh, pray for Tony and Jean. Uh, thank you for them Lord for the love that they have for you. And Lord we pray for um, all of the health issues that Tony has been dealing with. Uh, we pray your blessings on him Father and, and on their home. Lord, we uh, lift up Tommy and Pat to you. Thank you, Lord, for them, for for the desire that they have to honor you in their lives. Lord, we pray that you would continue to uh, uh, to pour out your blessings on them. We pray, God, that you would give them wisdom, understanding, uh, peace, and your mercy as they're dealing with the uh, different situations they're dealing with now. <clears throat> Father, we lift up... <clears throat> Victor to you, Lord, as he has um, made some decisions uh, that are going to affect the rest of his life. Um, God, we pray that you would uh, give him wisdom. Um, Lord, more importantly, give him the desire to seek you out and to uh, know what it is that he needs to be doing to uh, honor you in his life and to grow closer to you, Father. I pray that you would help him to grow in his uh, walk and relationship with you, Father. Lord, we lift up Eugene to you. We pray your blessings on her and all that she's uh, been dealing with, Father. We pray for Wilma. We pray your blessings on, on her and, and her health, Father. <clears throat> Excuse me. We uh, pray that you would help her to recover over the, this last procedure that she had done and uh, to allow her to be able to get um, get going and, and doing the things that you're calling her to do, Father. <clears throat> well, we pray for Natalie and Jenny. We thank you for these uh, young ladies that you have brought into our church. Uh, we pray, God, that you would um, help them to see and realize that there is um, nothing more important in this world than having a relationship with you. I pray, God, that you would uh, soften their hearts and draw them to you, Father, and give them the desire to seek you out in all of the things that they're, they're dealing with in their lives. Lord, we lift up uh, Donnie and Brenda to you. We pray your blessings on them. We pray, God, that you would um, bless their family and um, bless their their home. And uh, Father, we thank you, God, for um, allowing them to uh, be a part of our church family. Father, we pray for Bob and Carleen. Uh, we have missed them recently, and, and we pray that you would uh, help them to um, uh, to continue to grow closer to you each day. Father, we pray your blessings on their home and family. We pray for Eliana, Lord, that you would uh, uh, help her to grow in a deeper walk with you and a, and a deeper understanding of who you, it is that you're calling her to be. Lord, we pray for hope. <clears throat> we pray your blessings on her. Uh, for Jimmy and Brenda, Father, as they travel back and forth uh, between Morganton and here, Lord, we pray your blessings on them and the travel mercies. Lord, we pray for Michael and Raquel and Hunter and Rachel. We pray your blessings on them and on their family. Uh, continue to work in their lives, Father. For John and Della, as they are away from us now, we pray your blessings on them as you... Um, as you continue to work in their lives, Father, we pray that you would uh, uh, give them safe travels when they uh, return back to us, and and uh, Lord, we just pray your blessings on their uh, on their home and family. Father, we thank you for Jeff and Jennifer who have uh, recently joined our family, and and uh, God, we pray that you would. Uh, um, bless them that you would continue to draw them to you father uh, we pray your blessings on Camden and Bryson as they um, uh, grow to understand who you are and father that you would uh, just uh, continue to work in this family's life Lord to uh, help them to become the um, the your children that you desire for them to be Lord that that they would honor you in their in all that they do 
Lord, we pray for Miss Jean as she has uh, recently um, lost the love of her life, Father. We pray your blessings on her. Uh, we thank you for the blessing that her and, and Reverend Clarence have been for so many years um, to our church family, Lord. Uh, we pray that you would strengthen her and, and encourage her as she um, learns this this new life uh, that that you have uh, set before her, Father. Help her to grow in you and to um, Lord, we just pray your mercies on her as she uh, continues to um, to uh, grow and to uh, learn, learn um, how to um, honor you in her life and, and grow closer to you, Father. Lord, I pray for Stella. Um, I pray your blessings on her. Uh, thank you, Lord, that um, she has chosen to join us, Father. We pray that uh, whatever it is that she's going on, that she has going on in her life, Lord, that you would uh, pour out your mercy and blessings on her. Lord, we pray for Gerald and Erica. Um, Lord, for Eli and Peyton, we thank you for them, for the blessing that they've been in, in, in our church family, uh, for the work that, that um, Erica has done in the, uh, with the youth and all the young people of our church. Lord, we pray your blessings on their family. Lord, we pray for Miss Cindy, who has uh, recently uh, injured herself uh, in a fall. Uh, we pray your quick healing on her life, Father. We lift up Steve and Cindy for you, uh, to you, Lord. We pray your blessings on them and on their church, on their family. And uh, we thank you, Lord, for bringing them to be a part of our church family. Lord, we uh, lift up Josh and Maggie and, and Jace to you. We thank you for them. We thank you for the for the blessing that they have been uh, since they have become uh, a part of our church family. We pray that you would continue to uh, pour into them and draw them closer to you so that they can honor you in, in their lives, Father. And <clears throat> we pray your blessings um, on them. Thank you, Lord, for Keith and Emily. And we pray your blessings on them, Father. We pray that you would uh, continue to use them. Thank you for bringing them to be a part of our church family. And we pray that you would uh, grow them in a deeper walk with you. Lord, we lift up Caitlin to you. Thank you for her. And we pray your blessings on her. For Ron and Denise, thank you for bringing them to be a part of our church family. We pray your blessings on them and all that they have going on. Lord, for Mike and Susie, we lift them up to you. Thank you for them. <clears throat> we pray that you would uh, continue to grow in them and draw them to you, Father. Lord, for uh, Ken and Tammy uh, and for Anthony and Caleb, Lord, and Bethany, we pray your blessings on them. We thank you for them. We pray, God, that you would um, uh, pour out your blessings on them and, and their family and draw them to you into a deeper and closer walk with you. God, we pray for Charles. Um, we have missed him uh, for a long time. We pray that you would draw him to you, Father, help him to uh, learn to walk in the way that you have called him to walk and uh, help him to... Uh, uh, to desire uh, to um, uh, do what it is that you're calling him to do, Father, and, and whatever it is. Lord, we lift up Carl and Christy and, and little Philip and, and, um, and Carly and Carl Jr., Lord. We thank you for them. We thank you for the blessing that they have been in our church family. We pray your continued blessings on their family, Lord. For David and Josephine, um, Lord, for Floyd and Angie, we thank you for these two couples, Lord, for the blessings that they've been to our church. We pray your continued blessings on them and everything that they have going on. Lord, for Miss Helen, we pray for her, Lord, that you would um, bless her. Thank you for the love that she has for you and the joy that she shares with our church family all the time. Lord, we pray for uh, Kathy and, and Leslie. We pray your blessings on them, Lord, that you would uh, continue to draw them to you and uh, grow them in, in the walk that you have chosen for them. Lord, for Miss Rita, Thank you, Lord, for her, for uh, the joy that she brings to our church family. Lord, we pray your blessings on her, Lord, for our pastor and Miss Carly and little Hannah and, and Carlin and, and for the new one that's coming. Lord, we pray your blessings on this, on this family. Uh, they are such a blessing to us, to our church family and to our community, Father. We pray that you would continue to use them and, and uh, pour out uh, your mercies and grace on our pastor as he uh, continues to grow and, and share um, his the the wisdom and knowledge that you have given him through your word uh, with his church, with his church family. 
Lord, we thank you for Miss Jan and all the work that she does for the church. Lord, we thank you and praise you, uh, Father, for Jason and Brittany and Hannah, Kate and Jonah and Luke and Libby. Lord, we thank you for them, for the blessings that they are to our church. We pray your grace and mercy on their on their family. Lord, for Anthony, we lift him up to you. Lord, we thank you for him. Father, for Jeff and Louise, thank you for all the work that they're doing in our church family. We pray your blessings on them, Lord. For Bud and Karan, who have been dealing with some health issues um, lately, Father, we pray your blessings on them. We pray for healing, Lord. We pray that you would uh, continue to work in their lives and draw them to you, God. We pray for Dana Dean and Joe Nell. We thank you, Lord, for them. We thank you for um, allowing them to be a part of our church family, for allowing us to be a part of their family. Um, God, you have... Um, you have blessed us so greatly with so many in our church family that love you and that are uh, choosing to honor you in their lives. And we pray for all of these, Lord, and we thank you uh, for blessing us so greatly. We praise you and give you the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Um, I have gone over time already, and we haven't even started on our devotion. So um, We'll be reading Unto the Hills by Billy Graham, <clears throat> and our scripture today is out of Romans chapter 15. If you want to go ahead and, and turn to that, if you have it, if you uh, do not have a Bible available, I have it here on the on the screen if you're watching live stream. Um, thank you, everyone, that for choosing to join us. Um, I really appreciate your support. Um, in, and uh, allowing us to be able to uh, spend some time with you each morning, uh, this it is really a blessing to have um, uh, to have the opportunity to share with you. I appreciate that. Uh, so Romans chapter 15, and we will be reading um, from verse one through uh, verse six. And it says, uh, "Now we who are strong <clears throat> have an obligation." to bear the weaknesses of those without strength and not to please ourselves. Each one of us is to please his neighbor for his good, to build him up. For even Christ did not please himself. On the contrary, as it is written, the insults of those who insult you have fallen on me. For whatever was written in the past was written for our instruction so that we may have hope through endurance and through the encouragement from the scriptures. Now, may the God who gives endurance and encouragement grant you to live in harmony with one another, according to Christ Jesus, so that you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ with one mind and one voice. <clears throat> it is our calling to be an encouragement to others, to be a strength to others. Um, I hope that as you go through today that that you would find some way to be an encouragement and a strength to someone that you encounter today. And uh, so I'm going to read really quick uh, out of Dr. Billy Graham's uh, Unto the Hills. And the title of today's uh, devotion is The Cloud of Discouragement. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he says, The root of discouragement is unbelief. Consider what discourages you. You are not making enough money. <clears throat> Excuse me. You are not convinced that God can and will supply all of your needs. Um, you are frustrated in your job. You have refused to believe that you can be content in whatever state you are in. You are worried about health problems. Is not God the great physician? Did he not make your body and know how every cell functions? Can he not heal you when, it, when and if he wishes? Discouragement is a large cloud that like all clouds, obscures the warmth and joy of the sun. In the case of spiritual discouragement, the Son of God, the Lord Jesus, is eclipsed in our lives. Discouragement blinds our eyes to the mercy of God and makes us perceive only the unfavorable circumstances. There is only one way to dispel discouragement, and it is not in our own strength or ingenuity. The Bible says, Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Psalms 27, verse 14. 
I have never met a person who spent time daily in prayer and in the study of God's word and who was strong in the faith who was ever discouraged for very long. You cannot be discouraged if you are close to the one who gives us hope. Be of good cheer, Jesus tells us. I have overcome the world. So again, thank you for joining me this morning. And I hope that I was an encouragement to you. And I hope that you, in turn, will be an encouragement to others. God bless you all, and hopefully we'll see you tomorrow.